ऐड कर रहे हैं स्ट्रीम असासन स्क्रीट ओडिसी तो भाई लोग जो भी वीडियो बनाए वीडियो को लाइक कर देना चैनल को कर देना सब्सक्राइब पहली स्ट्रीम है नए नए गेम आएंगे नए पुराने हैं जो भी स्टोरी मोड खास कर चालू हो जा भाई वी आर रेडी माय किंग Tell me, Venekis, have you ever gone fishing with your son? No, never. A soldier's life is all I've had the honor to know. Hmm. I would have liked to have gone fishing with my son. But now... <clears throat> Let us meet our fate, shall we? Spartans! Every breath that you have taken has led you to this moment. Every drop of blood, sweat, and tear, all of it 
has led to where you stand right now. The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood. What say you, Spartans? <laughs> For our sons! <laughs> For our daughters! <laughs> For Sparta! <laughs>
Punic Spartan! I'll bring Xerxes your head! Xerxes sends his sheep to slaughter! Come, Persian! I will bring Xerxes your head, you insolent Spartan fool! Come and get it! Your bloodline ends today, Spartan! I'll get drunk on your blood as the crows feed on your eyes! You will try, and you will fail! Xerxes is the king of kings! All will bow before him after I crush you! Come, fool! Enough talk! Time to die! My son is more of a warrior than you! Once I'm done with you, king, all of Sparta's sons will be slaves for Xerxes! Sparta's sons would rather die! <laughs> that can be arranged! Not so tough without your army to protect you! Then why are you bleeding so much? We are betrayed, my king. Xerxes knows of the path behind the mountain. They are coming. <laughs> By dawn, he will be completely surrounded. We are Spartans. When are we not? Spartans. That word will mean nothing. When Xerxes wipes your bloodline from the face of you. Today was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow is a day the world will remember. Finally. Wow, this is big, Layla. Did you really think it's the spear? This is the one. The book was almost right on top of it. I've never been so lucky in my life. Okay, let's start her up. Are you sure we can trust this thing? I mean, the book could be- Just started, of Victoria. You're the boss, boss. I'll prep it for you. Okay, so worth noting, I've made some changes since you were last in here. <laughs> There's no keeping up with the tech industry these days. I can crank up the simulation to maximum sensory synchronization if you're up for it. Let's take this one step at a time. Understood. If you're looking for something a little more intense, I can always adjust the settings for you later. This bit will let me know how much information will be fed to you during your time in the Animus. Give me as much information as you got. There's no way I'm going in there without some guidance. Glad to help. 
You can always change your mind later. Listen, Layla, before you go off, if this book is right, this fear, this story, it will change everything. You're putting a lot of faith in a fairly unreliable source. Historian or not, this guy wrote about magical objects and the will of the gods. He's not Homer. Irodotos was the first recorded historian, so there's a lot more truth in that text than you think. I mean, what better way is there of finding Isu artifacts than by trusting in the guy who claimed to meet an actual descendant? I know, but... I need you to trust me. You could be right. This spear, this book, it could all be crap. But something tells me it isn't, and I'm certainly not gonna let Abstergo find out first. You're right. We haven't got much to lose anyway. There's just one small problem. What is it? This manuscript is in rough condition, to say the least. The DNA found on the spear has identified two different individuals. You're gonna have to pick which strand of DNA to pursue. The choice is yours. He will lead us down the right path, I'm sure. All right, boss. We're finally good to go. 431 BCE, here we come! The start of Peloponnesian War. Good luck in there. No pressure or anything, but we're all depending on you. Abstergo isn't gonna win this time. If what the book says is true and we do actually find the artifact, the assassins will finally have a chance to rise again. You can do it! Oh, and Victoria? Read the book. It holds the secrets I won't be able to find on my own when I'm in there. Aye, aye, Captain. Shit face! Get down here! Cyclops got a message for you. <clears throat> Tell your boss he can stick it. That's for last week! <clears throat> Malaka! The Cyclops said you like to act tough, so act tough! Get a little closer and I will. You should know by now. The Cyclops always collects the things. You have a lesson to learn. If the Cyclops wants to teach me, tell him to come here himself. Never mess with the Cyclops! Last week? <laughs> this shit happens every week. <sighs> I can't keep doing this.
Nah. Thanks for the warning. <sighs> what happened to you? It's nothing, Phoebe. All taken care of now. The Cyclops again, huh? Hasn't he learned his lesson yet? Apparently not. Of course. Help yourself. You hungry too, Icarus? <laughs> Do you think Zeus will bless me with an ego like he blessed you, Alexios? Maybe you could ask him for me. I'll try to put in a good word for you. Finally. So, what are you doing here? Oh, I almost forgot. Marcos is looking for you. <sighs> what does that weasel want now? Don't know. He wants you to meet him at his new house. On his vineyard. Wait, what? A vineyard? Malaka! It's on the road to Sami. He says wine will make him rich. Since when has he had the vineyard? Yesterday, I think. So, Marcos, who owes me drachmi, is buying vineyards. With what money? I don't know. Where can I find Marcos's new beautiful estate? You know the statue of Zeus on Mount Ainos? It's south of that. Well. I guess I owe Marcos a little visit. Thank you, Phoebe. <coughs> I'll go tell Marcos you're coming. My head. Fun's over. Tell that one-eyed freak, if he sends you here again, I'm going to cut his other eye out and feed it to my bird. I'll see Marcos as soon as I'm dressed. I'll have to go up top to get dressed. Get this on.
at you! My Ares will slice you right now! That's what I get for sparing you! No manners! Guess this is the vineyard. Straight ahead. There you are. Let's see what you've gotten yourself into this time, Marcos.
Boss, I, I keep telling you, you, you can't do that. Why? It's my farm. I can plant what I want. The grapes will die here. All of them. You have to forget what you know about the past, my friend. Together, we will revolutionize winemaking. Believe me, you will look back on this day and... Alexios, thank the gods. Phoebe found you, you in time. About grapes? I can still hear you. I was worried sick. The Cyclops sent his scum to find you. I think they mean you harm. I wish you would have told me that before they hit me. But that's besides the point. You bought a vineyard, Marcos? A vineyard? Why not? I like wine, you like wine, everybody likes wine. Everybody buys wine. Why not from me? Because you don't know how to grow grapes or make wine. I'm a fast learner. You grow grapes on the vine, then you get some wine. Oh, it's that simple, is it? You know me better than to think I don't have a plan. Marcos always has a plan. All right. Then do you have the money you owe me? Do I have the money I owe you? Of course, of course. Well, no, not at the moment. Then get it. Instantly, my friend, instantly. But uh, maybe you should do that. There is a merchant in Sami. I'm not very good at these things, as you know. You want me to collect my own debt? It's just waiting for you and Sami, my friend. Who's the merchant? Luris. You know Luris. He's very nice. Luris! How stupid can you get? Stop giving him money. He always pays me back. After I threaten him? Exactly. Everybody benefits. Luris gets his money, I get my interest, and you have work. Kefalonia is wonderful, is it not? Where can I find Luris? In a shop in Sami, overlooking the docks. You know this, Alexios. 
Will he be there? You mistake me for the Pythia. I couldn't possibly know. How do you want to handle this one? Not like you handled that olive oil business. That was... Uh, that was too much. <laughs> I got the money. And now we'll never get any more from him. If you kill them all, nobody benefits. Threatening them and maybe more. Breaking things, certainly. Steal the money if you have to, but don't rob me of my customers. Unless you can't avoid it, these things happen. He'd better have my money, Marcos. I'd hate to have to sell our vineyard. Of course he will. Oh, after, there's another matter I want to discuss with you. After. Fine, but I'm taking a horse. It's too hot and too long a walk to go on foot. But... Think of it as interest, Marcos. Everybody benefits. Of course, my friend. You shall have your pick. Tell me about this one. The Skiros. You have an eye for sturdy stock, my friend. That horse can cling to mountain passes like a goat. The one in the middle. Tell me about it. Ah, you have picked a beauty, my friend. That horse is from Thessalonia, bred for its courage. Huh. I like the look of the one on the right. Ah, the Macedonian. These are bred for battle. A true warrior's horse. I've made my choice. Which one will it be? That one. On the right. Ah, uh, a uh, uh, fine choice. But this particular breed has a few quirks that you might not be aware of. I wouldn't want you to take an unworthy horse. Maybe I should have another look. Choose wisely. The one on the left. Eh, uh, that one? This is the one I want. Are you sure? Because... I'm sure, Marcos. Everybody benefits, especially you. You've chosen the great Phobos. He's never let me down. Phobos. Remember, meet me at the temple in Sami when you have uh, your money from Duris. Ah, Efterbi. There's plenty of wine left to buy. Don't fret. Not now, you fool. Phoebe's been taken. By who? Thugs of the Cyclops. Who else? Snatched her right off the main road. Tell me where they went. In the direction of Itimena Beach. The beach? Can she swim? I'll get her. Yes, go. But don't forget about dear Duris, Alexios. Oh. 
Come on, come on. <gasps> Off we go. <laughs> There they are. I'll sneak up on the Malakas. Let me go! Shut it! Or I'll tighten those ropes! She'll make good ransom drachmi for the Cyclops. No one's gonna buy me from you. They're all poor. Keep quiet, Phoebe. This tall grass will keep me hidden. Can't let the rest of those malakas get away. Eh? Who's whistling? Marcos is going to be next. That's strange. I'll go check. Time to get Phoebe out of here. Alexios, I'm here! Untie me! Are you all right? It wasn't so bad. Last time they put a cloth in my mouth so I'd stop biting. Phoebe, just... be careful. You're alone now, since... Since my parents died? I'm okay! I've got you, and you've got me and Marcos. We're your family, right?
<coughs> You'll have to be stronger than that. Don't give in. Let him have it. <coughs> Got you. <laughs> Again. Up. Yes, Butter. Spartan rises as soon as they have fallen. Ready your stuff. Widen your stance. A soldier grounds themselves. Hmm? Good. Good. Uh. Approach me. Ah! That's enough, Nikolaus. The sun's going down. Time to eat, don't you think? <laughs> Tonight. tonight we are having baby Cassandra <laughs> and what a feast she will be no not her take me instead I'm tasty yes yes you're all sweet as honey now come inside the lamb's turning black yeah lay her in bed yes father Alexios You are my greatest pride. Remember that. You will bring this family to glory. Go. Right. You worry too much. <laughs> you don't worry enough. We'll be all right if we watch out for each other. Which reminds me, the thug said you should watch your back. What'd they say? They said the Cyclops put a big bounty on you. Talos the Stonefist wants you dead. Talos, the mercenary. Oh, am I ever not in trouble? Better get him before he gets you. I hear he's really mean. I'll find my way back to town. Here! Talos the Stone Feast? That's just what I need today. Another broken nose. I'm going to have to take care of that. Come on. Come 
Come on. Sammy, Duris will be at his shop. Off we go now. Alexios, good to see you. Hello, Thuris. Business looks good. Tell Marcos to come down here himself, if he wants his money. Huh? Uh, but I'm here now. Look, I was a little late paying. Now Marcos says I owe him double because of interest. I don't have it to spare. You should have thought of that when you borrowed Drachmi, Thuris. But my family... It's hot. I'm in a bad mood. And you're going to pay. We both know it. The question is, what do I break first? You or your merchandise? You told Marcos I've paid enough already. I won't bow to... to... to a mercenary or to someone foolish enough to borrow money from the Cyclops. From the Cyclops? That's how he bought his vineyard? Look, I know you'd be dead without Marcos. What with him taking you off the street as a kid. But you know what he's doing is crazy. Malaka. Still, that doesn't change the drachmi you owe. Face it. Once the Cyclops gets hold of you, you'll both be dead. Stop! That's my stuff! Yeah. Yeah. Alright, alright! Yeah. I'll pay you, just stop! Fine. The man is yours. Just leave. Pleasure doing business with you, Doris. Keep my name off your lips. I don't want the Cyclops coming after me for the debt you can't pay.
Come on. Κίνης αυτόν. Hello, boy. Hello, hello, hello. ये मारकोस कहाँ चला गया भाई?
Mardon, obéis. Não ganha Come on.
Oh, that smells lovely. Probably time I emptied it. Off we go. Yes, I'll go ahead and इसको यहीं का ही होना चाहिए आइए इस पैरस मिटू तो पीस You're running out of time until the Cyclops comes for you, Malaka. He wants his money. Could I have an extension? When he sails back to Kefalonia, he'll come and break you as soon as he docks, if you don't get it. Now, let's be civil. You can't hide behind your glories, Mistios forever, Marcos. He'll kill you, the mercenary, and that little runt girl that hangs around. Of course, not a problem. I'll get the drachmi. Good. Or I'll come and watch the Cyclops feed you to his goats. Ah, Alexios. I can tell from the smile on your face, Duris has paid you your drachmi. Who's smiling? I just heard where you got the drachmi for the vineyard. Are you out of your fucking mind? We can get the money back, can't we? I'm sure it's possible.
You've made an idiotic promise, Marcos. One we can't keep. I thought you were invincible. Maybe I am, but you're not. <sighs> I long for the old days. Remember them? They were simple. You had nothing, young and alone, and I had everything. And I gave you the world, Kefalonia, in the palm of your hand. Don't see fishes like you every day, huh? <laughs> oh! Ha! You hungry? How about we make a deal? I do something for you. You do a few things for me. Everybody wins. Best offer you're gonna get. Huh? Think about it. Wait! Kefalonia. <laughs> Some gift. You were nothing without Marcos. And look how far we've come. From an orphan on the streets to a Mystheos with a hovel. Another Cyclops will take everything away. I can't protect you from him forever. He'll kill me too. Oh, don't be scared of him. And look at you! How could I go up against him? With what weapons? A rusty spear? A broken bow? There you are. Skulking around the temple won't save you from me, Marcos. Drusilla! I was just talking about you. You were? I need that wood, Marcos. These new bows will be the talk of the island. I can't make anything with those bandit malakes stopping the wood shipments. Of course you can. Why, I was just filling my friend Alexios in on the details. He already has a plan to deal with these bandits. He's the silent but deadly type. I don't care who does it, but someone better got those bandits today. A wonderful idea. I, for one, uh, need to rush home. Alexios, I've cooked up a plan for our Cyclops dilemma. See me when you have time. If you want your wood, you'll have to fix my broken bow first. Hmm. I usually only pay when the deed is done, but shit's moving at a snail's pace. Follow me. These balls will make me rich as Chrysos. They're that good, are they? War's brewing. The Athenians need good bows if they want to hold off the Spartans. Everybody benefits, I guess. Who are you? Marcos? You should be tired of this small-time shit. You'd make a fortune in this war. Plus, I hear you're a secret Spartan. That was a long time ago. I'm a Kefalonian. Hand it over. There you go, good as new. That bow is as strong as Heracles himself. Give it a try. Shoot your arrow at those dummies! Mm -hmm. 
Fair is fair. Are you going to get my wood? Those fucking bandits need the thrashing. Fair is fair. I'll fix your wood problem. Finally! Marco sure is lucky he's got you as his scapegoat. There's plenty of trees around. Why do you need this type of wood? I've been working on a new type of bow. It's more flexible, so it lasts longer and can fire at greater range. Only a very special kind of wood that grows high in the mountains will do. Any idea where these bandits are? I'm not a tracker, I'm a boyer. They're in the mountains somewhere, that much I know. I'd check close to the lumber camps. I'll take care of the bandits. Make sure that you do. And be quick about it. I'll deal with these bandits and get you the wood you need as fast as I can. Have patience. It won't take long. Huh. If you knew how long Marcos has been feeding me excuses, you wouldn't be saying that. All right. I did something for you. Now you do something for me. Get my wood! Sami, I wonder if we'll be able to leave without getting into a brawl. <laughs> Who am I kidding? This place never changes. Come on! Hey! Here's where the ambush happened. I should look around. That's a lot of footprints. A group left this area, headed west. The cart was emptied, then left behind. The thief can't have gotten far with that much cargo.
Here's where the ambush happened. I should look around. That's a lot of footprints. A group left this area, headed west. The cart was emptied, then left behind. The thief can't have gotten far with that much cargo. Huh. 
shot in the back while fleeing. Must be the work of bandits. That must be the bandit camp I'm looking for. I need to sneak up on them. to take a closer look. Gods, I hope that was nothing.
be nothing, but I have to check. Ooh. Looks like a bounty hunter has you on their list. something. Better take some lumber back as proof. That old bag won't just take my word for it.
Oh, look, it's Marcus's mighty champion. <laughs> Don't tell me you actually did what I asked. I tracked the bandits and sent them to Addis. Your wood should arrive in town soon. And you expect me to believe the word of a mercenary? I didn't expect you to believe me, so I brought this. Here's your proof. A sample of the special wood you want so badly. These bows you're making had better be worthy of Apollo for all the trouble I've gone to. By the gods! You sure you work with Marcos? He's never once delivered on a promise. Incredible. I might work with him, but we're nothing alike. I'm true to my word. Then take your pay. Give none to Marcos. Mighty Kefalus, I entreat you, send us a champion, someone worthy of your mighty spear. Help your priestess in her hour of need. I'm the only one here, but maybe I can help you. <gasps> oh, Alexius, you startled me. Why are you looking for a champion? I need someone worthy to win the Spear of Kefalus. I've been deciphering some of the sanctuary stone carvings. They say the spear was hidden in the caves beneath Kefalonia when the temple was built. You could get it for me, couldn't you? I can give you a reward. If the spear is in the caves, I'll find it. Well, maybe you were sent by Kefalus. Kefalus had a spear? Alexios, surely you've heard this story since you were a child. I didn't have much time for stories. Well, perhaps you didn't. But you know Kefalus founded Kefalonia and started the line of Odysseus. His spear was a gift from the gods. It was said never to miss its target. He must have hidden it in the caves after killing his wife with it. He threw a spear that wouldn't miss at his wife? He was hunting and heard her in the bushes. He thought she was a deer. It's a sad story. Sounds dangerous. Well, only if you throw it at someone. Why do you need a spear? Not thinking of becoming a soldier, are you? Of course not. But think how many people will come to the shrine if we have the Spear of Kefalus. With their donations, I could do so many things. Repair the sanctuary, feed the hungry families in Sami. So where is this spear? Apparently, it's hidden deep in the caves beneath Kefalonia. There's an entrance north of here. Maybe you can try that way first. That's not much to go on. You have so little faith in the gods. If Kefalus means for us to have the spear, you will find it. I'll see what I can find. Oh, thank you. I'll prepare a spot in the sanctuary. Off we go now.
I should stay hidden if I don't want to fight. That's odd. I should go look. That noise is annoying. I'm losing my mind. Alexios, have you come back to talk about the spear? I have. Oh, good. Tell me, did you find it? You mentioned a reward? Oh, of course. You've certainly earned it.
Move! Let's go. Ah, here you are, and not a moment too soon. I've dealt with the bandits and gotten the wood for the boyer. I had every confidence in you, my friend. Well, your plan? Right. The Cyclops and I have a score of drach me to settle. The same score as you, my rough and tumble friend. He wouldn't be after me if it wasn't for you, my friend. <laughs> eh, right. But I swear, this will put an end to it. If he insists on sending his goons after us, we'll make sure his last good day was yesterday. Let's hear it then. What do I have to do? What will we do, you mean? As the brains to your brawn, I consider it a joint effort. <sighs> of course you do. Think, what does the Cyclops value most? His men? His land? His ships? No, his obsidian eye! Get to the point, Marcos. Oh, fine. We're going to steal it. Are you crazy? You borrow his rachmi, then you steal his eye? Having it means we win. Then it goes to market. We kill two birds with one obsidian eye. <laughs> He'd better hold still. Or he'll lose both eyes. No, no! It has to be done without the Cyclops knowing. You cannot be seen. Then my new bow will come in handy. He keeps the eye in his house. It's too valuable to wear out. A wise choice until you show him the error of his ways. Wait for the sun to set, sneak in, and then bring me the eye. Better be worth something. Do you know how much obsidian goes for in Kefalonia? I've never seen it. Exactly. And not only is it obsidian, it's veined with gold. Gold! It's no wonder he saves it for special occasions. So we'll use the profits to pay him off. It will pay for the bulk of it. A vineyard's expensive, you know. I don't know where the Cyclops lives. Keep to the west side of the island. There you will find his lair. Fine. But you won't get away with being cheap. Cheap? You wound me, Alexios. It's your defining trait. Bring me the eye and I'll prove you wrong. Remember, not a soul can see you. Got it. Pull this off and our heads won't be the Cyclops' trophies when he comes back. This will be simple for you. Sneak into the Cyclops' house and steal me his eye. <laughs> now to find the eye. If it's as valuable as Marco says, it will be hidden. <laughs> Come on.
Ella. Hello, I. I see you. Ella. Hey. They'll be watching for me. I need to be. I need cover. If I'm quiet, I can hide in the bushes. Malaka. Must be some eye to have that much protection. I have to stay out of view. By Zeus, the Cyclops doesn't mess around.
Did I see something? This is definitely the work of a mercenary. I know he's not far. Next time, we have to move faster than him. The gods curse me! I'm not used to losing my prey! What are you doing here?
I let him get away. You spot anything? I've got nothing. Keep at it. Must be here somewhere. Right. Coming for you. Well, I should see what that was. कितना सेव होगा भाई
Hey, be careful! Do you know how many of his guards were there? All for a fucking rock. This rock could buy a house, my friend. And yet, it's still not enough to pay back the Cyclops. Oh, don't be upset. Think of all the fun we've had. The Cyclops is going to kill us, Marcos. It's as simple as that. And there's nothing fun about it. This will work, I promise you. Would I lie to you? Don't make me answer that. Take the eye, but don't sell it yet. No vendor would believe we came by it lawfully. They know exactly who it belongs to. Fine. Better your pocket than his socket. I think that's enough for one day. Here, Marcos. Uh, wait, I saw a boat. One I've never seen before. So? The vessel's too good for this dirty town. It must be the Cyclops, and he brought friends. He's back. Ugh. I can never catch a break, can I? Take them out, and that's one less thing to deal with. Besides, these strangers look rich as Chrysos. The Cyclops pays them well. It's win-win, my friend. It can't hurt. What do I have to lose? You? You're a winner if I ever saw one. Then where are they? In an abandoned house on the eastern coast. Who knows what golden fortunes shine in their hideout? Send them to Hades, then loot them for all they have. We'll be rich! The eastern coast. Can you be more specific? I think they've settled in an abandoned house. By a small forest south of Sami. So, if these visitors aren't from Kefalonia, where did they come from? All I know is Kefalonia will be the last place they'll ever see. I'm keeping some of these golden fortunes, though. No negotiations. Not even a drachme for the man who sent you? The rest goes to pay your debt. These are my terms. Oh, fine, fine. Now teach those strangers what it means to be Kefalonian. Draw blood or bleed.
तो चलो भाई लोग अभी के लिए ना इतना ही करते हैं बाकी चेक करते हैं रात तो कंटिन्यू आगे ठीक है फिर वीडियो पसंद आए तो वीडियो को लाइक कर देना चैनल कर देना सब्सक्राइब मिलता है आप लोगों सब रात को स्ट्रीम पे इसी स्टोरी करेंगे कंटिन्यू आगे तो बस अभी इतने करते हैं बाकी कंटिन्यू करेंगे रात को तब तक के लिए टाटा बाय बाय गुड ओ टाटा बाय बाय मजे करो मिलते हैं रात को